hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing if you're new here please consider subscribing if you're a returning subscriber you are welcome back to my channel so now i'm going to talk about i keep seeing tiktok videos on why do nigerian men give people money after twa twa with them or why do nigerian men like to give girls money wow the thing is <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so where do i start from the thing is nigerian it's, it's, it has not started now Nigerian women like to be taken care of. Wow. Nigerian women love, not like. Nigerian women love to be taken care of. Wow. Same as Nigerian men. Everybody in Nigeria loves to be taken wow. care of. Nigerians even. Nigerians themselves. They like to pamper themselves. They like to feel like they like to feel good. They like to smell nice. They like to look good. It has been like that. Since, since it did start now, wow. yes. so don't feel like they are doing it because you are a keyword, or they are doing it because they are trying to do something negative. Actually, on the contrary, they are appreciating you. They are maybe telling you that you can use that to do something and something. It's different when you're telling your guy or your Nigerian person, whether it's a... I think in this case, we're talking about guys. Let's talk about guys. I'm not going to talk about Nigerian women giving men money. I'm going to talk about Nigerian men. Why Nigerian men give women money? So it's different when you tell your Nigerian guy to give you money. It's different like that. You know, it depends in what con context are you asking for money. You can ask for money right after. That should be like, you'll be like, okay, so are you, are you charging me or like, what is happening? And some of them can actually give even before they, I'm not going to, to, to say the word. Okay, what word can I say? Before they nini, nana, they lala, they mwa, mwa. <laughs> So some of them actually can give you money before they lala. They just like to see you taken care of. So don't take it personally, baby. Don't take it personally. He's going to take care of you when he can. And when he does not have. Now you go take care of Amo. Hey. So guys, this thing of. Uh, even I see men always thinking. Ah, the way Nigerian, Nigerian men give girls money, they're spoiling them. No, they're just taking care of them. The same guys, when they don't have, they'll tell you they don't have. And when they don't have, if they just see that it's the money you want, some guys, some guys are okay with them being used as money bags because them too, they are using you. But some guys, they actually want you to like them for them in spite of their financial capabilities. Like some guys actually care about their love. So some guys will give you, will always be giving you money anytime you ask because maybe they are not serious with you. They just want you to like get off my case you understand but some guys will be giving you money because they actually don't want to see you struggle and actually legit want to help you so you actually have to be wise and know what you're going for as if you actually want to be serious with a nigerian man you have to know you have to be okay there are some guys that are not looking to be serious don't try to be serious with somebody that's not serious with you you are serious with somebody that is trying to be serious with you you can't go for a young person that is just going to the streets to enjoy and you want them to settle down like it does not make any sense that's why you find that people will be saying nigerian men like like girls nigerian men like this no those nigerian men that you met are not ready to settle down they just want to enjoy most of them even have wives back home so don't take it personally that oh the nigerian man after you are together the nigerian man left you it's not their fault maybe it's you that is taking two things too i mean Maybe it's you that is taking things too seriously. You need to always be... You always need to be honest with a Nigerian man. A Nigerian man will treat you how you ask to be treat, treated. If, if, if you are insisting on being treated like a hooker... Sorry to say. 
A Nigerian man will be treating you like that. If you carry yourself with respect, that's what he will give you. If you carry yourself as a joker, same thing. If you carry yourself as a wife material, the Nigerians that actually are looking for wives, they will be attracted to you. So we need to stop stereotyping that Nigerian men just want to use our girls. Nigerian men just... Nigerian men are men like any other men. Nigerian men are men that are looking to have better tomorrows. That's why if you find a Nigerian man, a Nigerian man, maybe with a girl, with a girl that maybe has bad... You know, Nigerian men, are not only Nigerian men, Nigerians in general, they like respect. They like their respect. So if you find a, a man that has a disrespectful wife, the chances of the man never introducing you to the family are very high because he knows that this one will be causing me disrespect. So Nigerians really, really value what people think about their personal, like if a Nigerian man takes you to their family, the Nigerian man will care about what their family has to say about you, you know. So if you find, this is to anybody that is dating a Nigerian man out there. If you see that you actually like a Nigerian man and the Nigerian man is not serious with you, just give them their space. It will take time, or it might not take time, whichever, for them to realize that I actually like the way this girl is. Because Nigerian men, they are very loving. Once a Nigerian man sees what he likes and he wants, trust me, you, they can never, like before they let go of it, it will be like, Maybe something has happened, something has happened. But even if something happens, if a Nigerian man loves you, you guys will see fights together. So they, 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 Nigerians don't believe in divorce, mostly. Like, they don't believe in divorce. But mostly nowadays, I can see like people that are in toxic marriages and all those kind of stuff. They're actually learning how to speak up, which is a good thing. If you're not happy in a marriage, I don't believe you should stay. But... We should also know what marriage entails, you know. Marriage nowadays, or dating, whichever, it starts with dating. It ha Nowadays, people are actually looking for very... They're in relationships for very wrong uh, for very wrong reasons. Somebody will be in a relationship because they want money. You need a job. You don't need to be in a relationship to have money. Okay, even if you're in a relationship to have money... Make sure you're using the money to have, like, to build your life in a positive light. It's not like you'll just be in a relationship to be asking the guy for money all the time. Okay, some guys might not mind giving you, but they know that I can't continue like this for the rest of my life. Like, I cannot give, keep giving this girl money. What if I die? What, how will she, how will she survive? You know, they are, because they actually care about you. So if you actually have any interest whatsoever in the Nigerian man you are currently with because I feel like East African girls really like Nigerian men. I don't know why but it just happens like that. Not only East African girls, even I've seen European girls, even I've, I've met here in Nigeria, I've met Chinese women with Nigerian men. I'm like, whoa! Then there's nowhere that Nigerian there's nowhere in this on this earth, there is nowhere that a Nigerian man has not stepped foot. Go and even see statistics and everything. Nigerians have been since We have Nigerians that are living in, what's this place called? I think it's Mexico. Like, the ones that were carried as slaves. They are there. They are Nigerians. If you just see them, they are like, they are, even their cultures, their practices, they're just like, your rubas and ibos and you're like these people are nigerian so it's not about where they're from you know it's never about just them being as a nigerian but nigerians in general wherever they are they are always they always tend to be woke so they might behave like they are not seeing or maybe they don't care but they do care deep down they do care they are just maybe just going with the flow of this of like the current situation. Don't think that they are stupid. They are not stupid. Nigerians are very educated. They are very spiritual. And another thing, as I said, they are very respectful. Even if they don't want to do something, they can do something because they, they respect their mom's opinion. You know, all those kind of things. 
Nigerians are one of those people. So if a Nigerian man will actually see you doing something that they don't like and they actually love you, they'll correct you because they want, I don't like what you did do now, stop it now. Nigerian man will tell you. So we, we women, we like to argue with Nigerian men. They will let you argue, but they will not say, you don't listen. They just know you don't listen. But as, as somebody that has interest in a Nigerian man, you should always make sure to support your husband. It's not that supporting does not mean that your husband should be telling you what to do. No, it means that, yes, your husband can be telling you what to do. But you should also have a mind to think by yourself. If you have something that you want to do, go to your boyfriend, your husband, whichever it is, your partner, and talk to them about it, you know. As opposed to them always being the one to tell you everything to do. Like, they're just controlling you. You don't have a brain of your own. They like women that can think for themselves. They like women that can work hard. So as much as a Nigerian man will take care of you, they also want to see you working smart. They also want to see you bringing something to the table. So this just stereotyping of, oh, just have to have a fine face and a big booty and you'll get a Nigerian man. You'll be shocked, though. You will have your fine face, your fine booty, your flat tummy, and they will still leave you. Hmm. Why? Because you don't have a nice attitude or you're not respectful or something, 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 or you're not ready to learn. So women, we always need to know that men, God created Adam and then Eve. It does not mean that at women, we are any less of a person. No, but God created Adam first. Adam is the one that has the master plan. Eve is a helper of Adam. So let's always try to remember our roles in society. You know, it's reached a point that women... Women, we want to be like men. Physically, we can never be like men, even. If you look at ourselves, we look at men. Look at our muscles, look at men's muscles. They are different. So we always need to be honest with ourselves. But anyway, Nigerian men are, are men that are men. Literally, they are, they are so masculine. So... You can never ever try to ride on them. You can never ever try to... If you, if you are riding on a Nigerian man, know that it's only a matter of time before they show you their real colors. You know, they always stay calm until maybe you provoke them to the last and they'll do something. Maybe they'll dump you or you never see them again. And Nigerian heartbreaks hit different. Not even heartbreaks, normal arguments. You just feel bad. Like the emotions... Nigerian men, hmm. Nigerian men, hmm. it go reach everybody, it don't reach my turn, and they wait for your own turn, oh. <laughs> Nigerian men are national anthems, ha. as in the go, now worldwide, no be even national, worldwide anthems, they will reach each one of you, I'm sure in this world that we're living now, each one of us has encountered a Nigerian man, calling them baby, or trying to holler at them one way or the other. Like, yo, just take it easy. Don't be so judgmental. Just have fun. Some of them just want to talk to you and just know your culture. Some of them want to share with you and know why they are doing this and that. So don't always be fast to judge. No, don't be fast to judge. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, calm down and enjoy the moment. So girls, this is something that I would like each one of you to actually take note. If your guy keeps giving you money, not only a Nigerian guy, any guy keeps giving you money, you have to ask yourself, okay, why is he giving me money, number one? We all know how hard it is for you to get money. Like we know money is not plucked from a tree, obviously. You have to work for it, you have to do something to get money. So ask yourself. Don't be greedy. Ask yourself, like genuinely, ask yourself, why is this person giving me money? Okay. Your answer is for yourself. You don't need to tell anybody that. Okay. If he's giving you money and you have answered yourself, it's for you to choose what to do with the money. Mostly, all this money that women were given by men, 
if you are not smart the money will not do anything important with it you'll be having to to if you go with men for money associate yourself with men because of money you will have to associate yourself you have to associate yourself with 10,000 men for you to get the money that you want so the little money that you are getting maybe it's just giving you because he wants you to be taken care of as i said make sure to use it on the things that actually matter use it on something that you'll actually be accountable for if somebody asks you how do you spend that money you'll actually have a good reason for you to spend and actually ask yourself okay this guy keeps giving me maybe a hundred dollars each day okay can he keep giving me this a hundred dollars for the rest of his life okay how much does he have for him to give be giving me a hundred dollars each day okay this a hundred dollar what can I do to make it $200? Do you want you to be given $100 every day and by the end of the day you don't have any? You, still, you are still waiting for more the next day? Or do you want this $100 that you have been given tomorrow to be $105? At least it has gained 5% value. Or is it how many percent? I don't know. But it has gained $5 on top of the $100. It has become $105. Those are some of the questions that we women need to ask ourselves. That's why we find that there are cases that somebody was dating a very rich man. And I've seen it before. But once the man dies, they are back to square one. It's high time we women, we know the value of things in life. We always, we women, we have been brought up to always be managed. We have been brought up to always been told what to do. We also need to take charge of ourselves take charge of your finances take charge of your health take charge of your spirituality take charge of everything that concerns you because that is you and there can never be another you than you so guys if you are being given money make sure you do right with the money okay it's not bad to be given money it's not bad I've seen people that they have been given money by their Nigerian boyfriends because people used to say Nigerian, so like this now I'm talking about Nigerians. And they have used it to go to school. They have used it to build for their parents' houses. They have used it to sustain themselves and get a good life in a way that they don't need to ever be employed again. So that's not bad. You know, I don't personally think that if I'm dating a man and the man is deciding to give me money, and I'm using it for something good. And the man is okay with it. It's nobody's fault. But there are some men that will see. That ah, this woman is starting to get smart. This money that I'm giving her. She's investing with it. The man too will start. The man will start. Like wanting that thing that you have invested. With the money that he gave you. You understand my point? You have to be careful. If you see some people. Some people will give you money. They will never ever talk about it. Some people will give you money. They will go and tell all their friends they gave you money. You have to be careful. You will not take money and then because you took money from somebody, they will go and spoil your reputation everywhere because they gave you money. We have to be wise. Money is the root of all evil. But money is very important too. So we always have to take money. We have to study money like any other thing in this world that we have studied. So... Whether you have been given money because there are some girls I know and it's life. There are some girls that have to be with not only Nigerians. There are some girls even that are with white people because of money. It's not only Nigerians. There are people, a lot of people go into relationships because of money. My point is make sure you are doing, you are creating something that will be beneficial to you and if you decide to have kids kids not everyone want ki what what not everyone wants kids but make sure you do something that will be beneficial don't do something that okay let's say you go you have a rich partner and they give you all the money in the world and you're spending the money anyhow because nowadays we have a lot of things to spend the money on from makeup to lifestyle to travel all these things that are coming up every day there are so many ways that literally we can spend money but 
the options of you doubling up the money are fewer you have to you have to think well research well for you to be able to know what you can invest your money in but if you want to spend your money it will be very fast so if you if you actually you're with a with, with a rich person or with a wealthy person however you decide to put it if you're with somebody that you are gaining financially from and tomorrow they are not there anymore means that you have to get another money bag right and after they are not there again and the circle goes over and over and over and over until the end of life is death until you die so all you did in your life was be with different men for things that after you left no longer cease to exist if you think about what i said only the smart people will get what i'm trying to mean this life is not only about today life is about when you are no longer there your loved ones what will they have to to say about you your energy like the the, the moment they mention me what energy fills the room that's what life is about life is not all about materialistic stuff the way people just put it to okay the materialistic stuff is very important but it can lead to something greater if you use what you own you can actually create greatness and that's what i believe each one of us wants to be nobody in this life that is born that wants to live a bad life nobody that is born in this life wants to live a poor life there is nobody that is born in this life that wants to be useless but it all happens because life happens so if life is happening to you if you find yourself in a situation that you are not you didn't expect make sure to always think about what is happening be in contact with your real self be in contact with the present be in contact with what has happened always know what you have been through for you to move ahead don't just be living recklessly like nowadays we are being taught to live everything around us is being is telling us to live day by day so if you have money today you should just finish it today tomorrow again you'll go and find another money and finish it and life goes on no guys we have to invest we have to make that if somebody has given you money that's like your helper locating you if your helper locates you make sure you use the money the right way that's just the motivation for this video no matter what it is how much it is spend it the right way because every money that is wasted is wasted opportunity you're wasting that opportunity that something somebody is hoping that they can get that money that you have and you're wasting it so stop guys let's stop taking things for granted and above all let's respect everything that happens to us whether bad or good respect that it's life and it will lead to the next stage so guys if a man is giving you money always ask yourself that's just what i want you to know in this video too if a man is asking you money ask yourself why he's giving you money and how what you can do with the money yeah so let it not reach a point that if the man is not giving you money you don't like him anymore or you can't have a conversation with him it's not a must you like somebody that's giving you money maybe he's just helping you because he likes to help you he does not even like you so make sure you do well with the money one day he will stop helping you because he feels like he has helped you enough like let's say you met a man and that man decided to be sending you a hundred dollars every week and they send it to you for one whole year and after the whole year they never send to you again most humans will get angry that ah that man used to send me money and then all of a sudden he stopped and maybe something happened to the man or something something you don't even care you're so self-centered that you don't even realize that this person was helping you and giving you money out of his own goodwill it's not like they were gaining from you so guys we have to especially women we are so 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 entitled nowadays even i see i watch a lot of loyalty tests women are so entitled think about it what if men were entitled like we women how would the world be how would the world be women always say okay yes men i swear it's the pride of every man to take care of his family 
it's their pride. A man that can take care of his family will be feeling so proud. Even his friends will be like, ah, you are trying for your family. Like, may God continue to bless you so you can continue to take care of your family. But we women, we always take it like, we don't take it like it's a blessing to have that. We think that, ah, if you are not doing it, hey, I cannot stay with a man that is not doing this and this. You got to chill, girl. That's, that's in your fantasy. That's not the real world. In the real world, if you are with that kind of man that provides for you everything, when him is in a tight corner, you too, babe, you'll have to provide, do. You'll have to either provide idea, even if it's not financial, you have something to do. Like motivate him, provide for him something, be his strength, be his comfort. It's not just about you. It's not everything is about you. So that's why I'm saying, if you have a helper that is helping you, if you have a man, a man that likes you, he wants, he wants to date you, yes, Dating does not mean marriage. Girls nowadays are confused because you're dating somebody does not mean they should be paying your rent They should be paying your school fees. They should be helping your mom. They should be doing everything for you They can do that if they want In their heart if they want They can do that if they please. It's not that You should be with them because you like it that they do it for you. Don't be taking people for granted like I said if somebody is doing that for you, make sure you use it to the best potential. Make sure to double their help. If they have helped you to build a house, make sure to always never forget where this house came from. Appreciate the true work. So stop, women, let's stop being entitled. If a man will not give you money today, he'll give you tomorrow. And when he gives you tomorrow, he expects you to do something reasonable with it. Don't just expect him to always be giving you money in here him too he has his dreams and you too as a woman you have to have your own dreams so if your man reaches his you know as women when we are building our families when we get kids women we have to take care of our kids you have to make sure you know how your kids will be taken care of even if your man will provide the money you'll be the one to be in charge of how they are they are like taken care of because your man will always be doing manly stuff. Men cannot be coming home to bake your baby. That's impossible. So you can imagine a man giving you all the money in the world. And a man comes home at night and finds the baby dirty and all those kind of stuff. The baby is not well taken care of. Because maybe the man didn't give you money that day. And the previous day the man had given you money. Because you can't manage the money well. So let's learn how to manage money properly. That's just what I can say. If you cannot manage money, you cannot manage your time. Actually, if you cannot manage time, you cannot manage your money. So every time you get an opportunity to do something, make sure you make the best out of it. Guys, is that clear? So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Drop your comments on what you think about what I just talked about. And anyway, Nigerians are in collective are amazing people and they are people that they really respect people no matter where you're from nigerians will respect you but they don't get that in 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 uh, they don't get that in exchange it's always the opposite everywhere they go nigerians are always it's just the negative stuff that is always taking over so guys that nigerian friend neighbor Whoever it is, they're Nigerian, let's try to be kind to them, yeah? Not only Nigerians, any nationality. Let's try to be kind. We are one. All of us, if you cut me now here, it's blood that will flow. Red blood. So if you have red blood, always try to be kind to your neighbor. Not unless you have blue blood. Uh -huh. You can go to your blue people, blue blood people. But if you are red, always be kind to each other. And yeah. This is the end of this video. I will be speaking more on whatever people request for. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share. And make sure to drop your comment on the experience you had being with a Nigerian man. Anyway, stay tuned for the next video. See you next time. Goodbye, guys. Mwah. Subscribe. Bah. Let me off my camera. <laughs>